Vladimir Putin is known for, uh, well, he's known for flexing his muscles in more ways than one. We've seen the Russian president shirtless. We've seen him riding horses, doing all sorts of kind of stunts. But as Brian Todd tells us, Mr. Putin is also displaying his clout in Washington in the form of powerful lobbyists. Turns out Vladimir Putin doesn't just flex his muscles in his own region. He's one of the most powerful figures in Washington with a lobbying and PR machine that makes some Americans very rich. Take Adam Waldman from the consulting firm The Endeavor Group, based near the White House. According to his filings with the Justice Department, gathered by the Sunlight Foundation, Waldman worked a few years ago on behalf of Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The documents show Waldman was paid $40,000 a month by Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska to help resolve Deripaska's visa issues. Lavrov later joined the effort, but there's no indication the Russian government directly paid Waldman. According to the Wall Street Journal, Deripaska had had his U.S. visa revoked because of concerns he was tied to organized crime. In the same report, Deripaska denied that. Waldman's firm didn't return our calls, didn't speak to us when we went there. Why would the firm work for a country that sometimes works against American interests? The right way to look at them are sort of as, as guns for hire. It's really their business to, uh, to support controversial clients and, um, you know, the optics of it aren't great, I think. Dustin Elliott's with the nonprofit investigative news outlet ProPublica. He found government documents showing a massive American PR firm, Ketchum Incorporated, got almost $23 million from Putin's government between 2006 and 2012, and more than $17 million from Gazprom Export, Russia's government owned gas company. Ketchum's job? Pitching Putin's agenda in the U.S. It sets up TV interviews and was instrumental in getting Putin's op-ed into the New York Times last year when Putin scolded the U.S. for considering force in Syria. And what this is is an organization that hires a lot of uh, you know people who work in advertising. Some come from the news media, some come from government. There's a couple of speech writers for former senators uh, that work for this firm. Ketchum sent us a statement acknowledging they do public relations work for the Russians, but also saying, "quote We are not advising the Russian Federation on foreign policy, including the current situation in Ukraine." Two other Washington firms who've made hundreds of thousands of dollars working for the Russians through Ketchum didn't speak to us, despite the optics here. The work these firms did for the Russians was all legal and above board. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.